Towners. Today we're going to make some cauliflower nachos. Let's get it. All right, guys. To start off this recipe here, we have our uh, cauliflower. Uh, we have a head of cauliflower. We're going to chop up two heads of cauliflower for this. It's going to make a lot of chips that we're going to use for our, for our nachos. Um, we took the cauliflower, cored it, cut off the stem, and uh, basically broke up all. On the first one, broke up all of the cauliflower pieces off and basically sliced them um, into pieces and used that as the chips. On the second one, we pretty much did it a little bit easier. We just basically just took it, just cut cut it lengthwise and kept it whole. Some of them made a few cauliflower steaks out of it, but just we just sliced everything up, and um, that was a lot faster than doing it as opposed to breaking everything apart. Uh, we put all of our cauliflower into a large bowl, and then we went ahead and start seasoning it up. Uh, we seasoned it with some olive oil, and then some kosher salt and black pepper. And then we added in some of our cooking with the town two taco seasoning, and went ahead and mixed to combine everything to get our uh, seasoning coated onto as much of the cauliflower as we could. Then we put down our large 15-inch uh, cast iron skillet and went ahead and loaded the uh, cauliflower all onto the pan. Uh, realized that this would be too much. I think that it would start steaming as opposed to crisping up that we wanted it to. So uh, took out our baking sheet lined with aluminum foil and sprayed it with some cooking spray and then put a layer down on that. So we have half on that and half in our, in our pan. Put that in the oven at about 425 for about 20 to 25 minutes. And um, as it was cooking, we went ahead and just started to brown up our hamburger meat. That was seasoned uh, same way with salt, pepper, and our cooking with the town two taco seasoning. And then this is how our cauliflower chips came out after they came out of the oven. I mean, you can see it's a bit loose, uh, didn't crisp up as much as I wanted it to. Uh, I probably could have left it in a bit longer or either maybe preheated the pans to get a good crust on them before cooking them. But it came out, they came out well. Um, here we are going to head and building our layer of nachos. We have our cauliflower down as our base layer. On top of that, we put down a layer of our hamburger meat. And then we put down some uh, baby spinach. Here's a layer of cheddar cheese and some diced tomatoes. We went ahead and chopped up some cilantro and onions, mixed that together and put down a layer of that as well as some salsa and some green onions. And then we put down some of our homies. We have some jalapenos here. And uh, here is a final product of how our tower of nachos looked with using uh, cauliflower florets as a base layer. Um, they worked out really nice. Um, the uh, One of the things that I probably could have did differently is maybe uh, preheated the oven a bit more or preheated the pans that we used uh, to get them a bit more crispier. Um, here we are doing a taste test, putting down some Tabasco sauce for some additional heat and flavor and trying to figure out where I want to dig in, where I want to start at. Um, when I eat nachos, I, I, I use my hands. I don't, I don't use a fork or anything unless I have to, unless it's all just mush and you got to scoop everything up. Here's a close up of the, uh, well, the spinach leaf is pretty much blocking all of the cauliflower and the meat. Uh, but the, um, again, as I said, I would probably preheated the oven and preheated the pans to when I put them down to get a good crisp on them. Um, doing a close up of this cauliflower filler right here, you can kind of see that it kind of bends a bit. So, I mean, it holds its shape. If you cut it correctly, they'll hold their shape well. And, but if just the smaller pieces are the ones that may be bendable or more pliable. So, but you can still just scoop them up and, and eat them that way. Um, again, some people don't like lettuce or spinach in their uh, nachos. I, it doesn't bother me because I tend to eat all of the chips around the base, lay around the outside and end up with not that many chips in the middle. End up starting to use my my uh, spinach leaves or not or lettuce leaves as chips and just scoop everything up into that and eat it that way. Um, also, some people don't like melted cheese. Um, I mean, some don't like shredded cheese. It doesn't bother me. Um, if some people, you know, if you don't have melted cheese, it's not nachos. That, that doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> it's, it's nachos to me. Uh, but 
this came out very well. Uh, the cauliflower florets didn't have any cauliflowery taste due to all the seasonings that we added to it. And it, it worked very well as our base layer for the nachos, sort of like we did with the cucumber nachos. As long as you got that taco flavor in it, everything works in and works well together. Now we had a lot of tor ch uh, cauliflower chips. So this is uh, some of the leftovers that we had on other days. I did go ahead and put some in, in a pan with the cheese and melt everything on it to, you know, do it that way. And that, that worked well also if you, that's the way you want it. Um, got a cheese pull there. Here's another day that we have going through with uh, adding some avocado to it. Um, we, had, we were able to eat off this for about two or three days because that's how much cauliflower that we had cut up with using two. So you can definitely use one or half a cauliflower if you're doing it and cooking it for one person and just scale down the portions. But we cook a lot here uh, and have a lot of leftovers. Uh, but um, if anyone has any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy. And please subscribe. Enjoy. Hey guys, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. All menu items are listed in the description box. And thank you guys for watching.